Good morning and welcome to our monthly webcast. I am Samir Mehta, your moderator, and this is session number 172. We start today's uh, transmission uh, with the unusual announcement that next month will not be the <laughs> third uh, week, Ayya. but it will be November 7th. And uh, you would be wondering why this change for the first time in 14 and a half years that we moved away and taken the exception of doing it on November 7th instead of. And the, there is an excellent and a fantastic news uh, with which uh, I'd like to start today's program. And uh, the reason for this is Dr. Kinney's son's wedding uh, uh, in New Delhi and in Dubai. Uh, congratulations, Anu. Uh, before we even talk about the case, uh, this is a wonderful development. Uh, congratulations to your son, to the entire family, and uh, I am absolutely certain you'll have a great wedding. And of course, we'll do the case uh, on a different day. <laughs> this is the first time. Ah, it breaks my heart, but that's okay. That's a valid reason for it. <laughs> Such a wonderful reason to be to be doing it. Uh, yeah. With that, uh, let me uh, make a quick introduction about the case. Uh, we initially were planning a bifurcation, left main uh, uh, circumflex, and uh, uh, probably stenting across uh, strategy and. Uh, uh, just before uh, going live, uh, we've come to know that the patient who had a severely diseased uh, circumflex, now the circ has become total. So that is exactly the purpose of a complex case. Uh, uh, things change, uh, anatomy changes, uh, so we'll probably need to modify our strategy, but I'll let uh, Dr. Kinney and Dr. Sharma describe. Video. Beautiful. And uh, welcome to all the review, our viewers of the CCC Live and myself, uh, Dr. Kini. And we actually have uh, two fellows here, Yash and Frank, and the rest of the staff, many familiar faces, uh, will be in this particular case, which is a little challenging. And we'll show you why challenge, because of angulation and calcification. I think at present, uh, we know it is a calcific lesion, which really gives us trouble. So before we go on, let's just uh, uh, show this, uh, we do our presentation quickly. Uh, our same disclosures, this case number 172, 75 year old, uh, patient has a LED PCI, echo normal. And uh, you can see there, uh, moderate COPD and um, the multiple inhalers patient had been and cardiac cath which was done uh, revealed two vessel and left main CAD. Calcific subtotal occlusion of the angulated circumflex uh, with the LED was fine and there was also very tight disease of the RCA. Uh, patient uh, or surgery was declined because of COPD and morbid conditions and patient had the RCA PCI which will show it to you. Uh, so let's show, uh, actually we can show that first. So this is the one. Uh, was last month, see that osteal, uh, because there was a positive ischemia in that very calcific vessel, but focal AV continuation. So then it's a rotablation with a 1.5 and uh, for 32 seconds. Uh, for, this is post rota, looks quite good. Clearly less plaque shift of the side branch, which has been shown that once you do attract me, less side branch closure, uh, followed by Wolverine, which we did in this particular case. And then the stent. Uh, Zion's scheme point, and this was the final results uh, which we left about a month ago. Little bit of PDA pinch, which is normal. I would call it a physiological pinch, was left alone, and now the patient is here uh, for the left system, which will be shown by Anu. Yeah. So okay. if you yeah. see the EF, which is uh, near it's normal, yeah. EDP was normal, and the right coronary artery, exactly the way Beautiful. we left it. Yeah moderate osteal disease but now in this you can see you see the circ already filling collateral yes yeah okay so we go back and uh, subtotal circ is now is uh, totally occluded okay. yeah. yeah calcium and all and, of uh, all of this happened in the last few weeks no yes yeah. yes and despite on dual antiplate no antiplate no and then see the distal left main yes. like a bite the apple core bite of this calcific distal left main plaque. See that? And uh, so moderate disease, LED otherwise is good. And uh, I think we should do still make an effort, although it's a collateralized patient, did not have an acute syndrome, but uh, angulated calcific, this is one of the big factor uh, uh, of nowadays uh, of unsuccessful intervention calcification with a JCTO score, uh, both angulation 
and calcification will be the part of it. So with that note, uh, uh, so let's just go back very quickly. Let me complete my presentation. Uh, so this basically now is uh, PCI of the calcific distal left main and circ using rotor tripsy once we and single stent crossover. So this patient will be the left main and two to three vessel CAD and patient will be appropriate, although M by the definition, by the criteria there of the our OCK, but because of the discussion with the surgical becomes uh, A appropriate. So now with that note, Anu tells, so let's go back uh, and uh, we'll see this uh, uh, case being done live. Yeah, so I think we need to definitely start with the angulated catheter right from the beginning. Um, we have a super cross here right now. Um, I would have tried, I, uh, I mean, I tried with the caudal view a little bit. But should be the caudal view. It's not. So I, I see. think look at the cranial. Okay. We see it better in this view. So maybe let me try here in this view yeah. and we have a venture ready i'll try to so it's the venture so no, distal right left main and, the, and ah, then i okay. think we'll be ready to change to venture okay, venture. okay. so super cross 120 remember the super cross is 90 uh, sorry 60 90 120 and i think 180 or 145 so no, 120 no 90, 120 there's one more uh, there is a one which we don't carry uh, it's a one uh, this is a 90 no, we are having. this is the 90 we have right now yeah, but Supercross comes in four sizes. Uh, look into it. The next one after 120 is either 145 or uh, 180. I think it's 145. Tell, uh, Andrew. Mm. Yeah. The various. So one thing about this is soft tip and uh, does not keep its curve. Uh, I think let's yeah, I, no, I think this one, if you require, you need 180, 120 minimum with that angulation. Let's try venture we have. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. So very little try of this uh, did not work. Now we have the venture, which is both monorail and over the wire. What do we have? Over the wire. Yeah. We have the over the wire venture so that you can change the catheters, uh, get a little more stiffer. And as you know, the venture has this ability, uh, the, able to We have make, shown venture a yeah, few times. quite a bit, yeah. yeah. So let me try, same. Good. Hold this and we'll put it in. Ninety, one twenty, and then one thirty also? No, no, no. <laughs> when Andrew comes, he can check the device aid. Yeah, one forty-five, right? Forty-five, ninety, one twenty. And XT, okay. So that's it. Good. I don't think we've ever used to forty-five. Yeah, no, we don't carry actually. Yeah, we use only ninety and one twenty. Now go yeah. forward. Yeah. I'm just trying to save it. I think you want to go to quarter view or this is the view for you? Let's see. Go. Okay. Eccentric. So, the eccentricity you see better here. Yeah. So, what you will do is you advance the mm -hmm. fielder. Yep. Yeah. Come nearby first. Yes. There. I'm in the left vein. Advance. Mm -hmm. In the septal. Yeah. All right. Good. So on the wire and then you advance your venture and then pull back and change the direction. Good. That's okay. That's all right. Now you pull back the wire inside and then pull and point it up. Rotate and do both. Yeah. Mm. It will always point, will point in, the, in the downward direction, but make the curve and then rotate. Other way around. I'll not make the curve. Go into that other septal there. Hmm. Yeah, at this point, rotate. Yeah. Very proximal yep, septal. Good. That's normal. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, it has it engaged into it. You may need a little stiffer wire if need mm -hmm. to be. 
क्वेश्चन विल बी गाय थ्री और now they want this uh maybe they can put the lights down a little bit yeah good let's pull back now yeah good they too far Let's see. One second. Yeah. It's not right. And as you see, as soon as you pull your, then you go back the counter clock to make it straighten. It's still. yeah and many time the the system the rotating system breaks and that is just remained curved and that we have actually have seen few few times now only thing is maybe you straighten with the wire a little bit yeah we have to go with the calcium hmm. See, little die. Uh, yeah, this okay. looks like a good direction. No, see. Don't magnify further. Hmm. Now show me some die. Hmm. Well, too far. Hmm. It's there. And lot, lot of people want to use the uh, bench. Uh, the oh, yeah, good. But okay. Excellent. No, 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 no. I think it's in the. Me advance a little bit. I advanced it so at least we are engaged in the circ, and now we can change the wire maybe. And you need a little stiffer wire now. I don't know. It's a cute vessel. No, it was always very subtotal with the calcium. Now always there could be that you may be in subintimal, but that's mm -hmm. okay. If the once you are engaged into the circ, you little stiffer wire, your favorite wires, uh, and go into quite an angle. Yeah. Huh? Gaia. Gaia three versus uh, your miracle okay. six. You mean miracle six? My only issue with miracle six. Want to give us Gaia? Okay, get the Gaia. Take a picture. Okay, take a picture. Take a little long picture, yeah. Don't see much. Mm. This Which could one? not be in the right direction, Gaya. but that's okay. Huh? Gaia three. No, it's a <coughs> curve. Hmm. Or miracle six. And to go a little more cordial, away from those here. So Jeffrey Wilson. Yeah. Uh, Makes yes. a very good observation. Excellent left circumflex case. Perhaps a polymer jacketed wire, possibly tapered, will work well here. Uh, excellent uh, thought process, and uh, hmm. you're following pilot. the, the you're pilot. The, yes, following the case so closely. We are the pilot two hundred. 
polymer jacket less stiff wire will be then pilot uh, 200 no one taking yeah right now we are going with the gaia 3 right gaia 3 okay and then we ready with the pilot yeah i mean if need to be we can puncture other side to see the distal vessel but we are still far away from there mm-hmm. get well, this uh, this kind of uh, borderline qualification between a cto versus a more recent occlusion no, but i mean uh, i would say it was even then it was like 99.9 yeah, yeah. yeah. it was 99.9 how the miracle red 6 Or do you want to go with your Mongo? No, no, no. Field vaccine, no. Either, either your pilot or Mongo. Curve. Not even making the turn. This is what happens is yeah. as soon as you make a curve, it doesn't go in. Hmm. You know what I'm. Yeah, Panna. Now which one do you want? Curve, no, I'm taking. You know, take the extra six. curve and let no. go without the curve. It's too bad. No, no. sorry. No, let's see. Destroyed. No, no, no. It may not make sense. You need a curve. Without curve. No, but remember, you are already with their curve with your catheter. Even yeah. there, we will get sub intimal to go sub. Mm-hmm. No. And uh, yeah, these catheters are not the best catheters to exchange wires, both super no. cross as well as ventures. Now you are going with. Miracle six. Yeah, and we are the pilot also in case we need. No pilot, no. Now what happened is Gaia three did not go because we made an extra tip curve. It comes with a point five millimeter curve, but we made a little extra curve and then it just did not go through the backboard. This is a miracle six or uh, yeah, miracle six that? right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Making some progress, although unclear whether this is <coughs> subintimal. If you go a little further, and there is a question, we can always uh, puncture other side. Make sure get ready with a second transducer in case we need it. Get me a. Just when you said get me a. Okay. No, but let's see. I, want, I don't know where we. But there's no PVC. Yeah, it it looks no, to have gone smoothly. No, I was about to smoothly. say. <laughs> no, I was about to say neither. I was able to get the venture into the circuit. You see that? Hmm. And I said, let get a stiffer wire. But. You want to take just picture, long picture, or okay. we go other side? Let's see. I think it's okay, in the right place. Yeah, yeah. Long. Mm-hmm. Some other branch. You think so? It has to go vertical. That mm. calcium. Then we can go back to fielder or a right whisper. Now the whisper. Get me a new fielder. I think fielder should. Yeah, why not whisper? whisper. Okay. Whisper. Yeah, get a whisper. You have exchange length whisper. No, 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 no. Okay, no. the regular one ninety is fine. Yeah, somewhere there, I think is the. Direct. Get ready a four French sheet, new transducer. We might have to inject at the side. Usually, with the CTO, okay. we'll okay. always okay. start with that. Yeah, but this definitely is a better. And having no PVC is always a good one. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think we, it's a reasonable. Yeah, that's the way direction was. Okay, okay to puncture the other side quickly. No, I think you can see now. No. Okay. Okay. Let's take another picture then. Yeah. Yes. I think we are there. Hmm. 
Now only question what do you want to do? So next to what? Yeah. So why can't we just go now, get a run through, exchange hmm. length? Okay. Get us exchange length run through. Or you want a field exchange? Hmm? Exchange length oh, field? No, hold on. You had a whisper, right? You to go with no, but we don't have exchange length. We don't need the whisper now. We have been to distal lumen already. So now question is, we have to change it and we get a small catheter. And then decide, uh, uh, because this will be a very calcific. So we whether you the 1.25 or 1.5 bar. I mean, exchange it to. Three hundred wires are not that um, easy to torque. Let's take this out. Mm. Okay. So Miracle 6 is coming out. Look at the, how tight it is. Mm. With angle they collapse. Data, no, there are no, two no, of no, them. Not even yeah. that. Two the reasons for that. Are, yeah. The lumen. Keep it there. Do you want to get a one no balloon? Just mm. to open a little bit. So we understand where we are, right? Yeah. So we really have to see. Good. So let's take this out. Keep it there. Get a one no balloon. Yeah. Actually, I think two o will go. Hmm? Two or twelve? Yes. Pinky. Pinky pie. Pinky pie. What is the name of this balloon? Pinky. <laughs> Euphora. It's pink color, so we call it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, question always comes that do we? No, we can still do later. Yeah. Right now. What did you draw? As soon as we saw... In diff later? Yeah, as soon as we saw there was CTO, yeah. we did think that do we have to get a dual access. But mm. since it was recent occlusion, I said, uh, already anticoagulated, that we'll wait getting the second one. What happened to the hemo? You want to dilate here now, right? Yep. Okay, going up. To our atmosphere. Might have to go back to your 1.0 balloon idea. No, going up, yeah. yeah. That's okay. Did you need a fine cross down or one of those to go down mm -hmm. and change to rotor wire, right? Yep. Okay, let's just come. Dilate. Good. Yeah, just dial it here and then we decide. There's a little flow. This there is we... where the biggest issue was. Yep. If there's a flow. Right. Then, we, then we don't have to go other side injection, otherwise we have to give another injection. Contralateral. Quite the calcification Ready? and okay, angulation. Okay, go up, go up, go up. Okay, there I it's gone through now. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Okay, ready? Guide is too much in. I know, I know, but let it be right now. Okay, good. Okay. Inject. Good. I want to just do okay. slow. Good. Let's okay. change with the co the fine cross we have. Yeah. We do the rotor wire and 1.5 bar. Yeah. 
get a 1.5 bar ready but samir you saw the movement of the balloon yeah so yeah. initially was only like 30% in then right. you keep progressing slowly yeah. excellent job with it and uh, so also, which was the which was the wire which finally uh, crossed there what, what our do you favorite have this? miracle six miracle, miracle six okay. which was your first call yes your first call was when you were preferring it over gaia 3 that no but gaia 3 never went it didn't right, right. come out at all no yeah. no that's Reason. what i'm saying anu's yeah, first yeah, choice exactly. was a, yeah. was a miracle 6 yeah because i know with gaia as soon as you give even a slightest little curve uh, mm. it's difficult to introduce into the micro catheters right you got to just use the way the curve is and we knew we needed a little extra curve to get into this uh, circumflex there one second here yeah. huh? just wanted to show to everybody this where we are very uh, the rotavir is ready yep. okay now the and we need a 3o 20 rotavir or yeah. you need extra floppy support? floppy floppy and we are 3o uh, 15 high pressure balloon yeah 15 high pressure go no keep going straight yeah more There's a stent in the left vein, so even if we advance, I mean the guide is yeah, it's not a problem. And now, question: We had to do IVL also for the left vein because very calcific chunk there, uh, and we'll do the IVAS right. to see the calcific nodule. So that in epicranial like apple core bite of the distal left vein, calcium. Okay, taking it out. Yes. And always so get your balloon a, ready. Yeah. Uh, rota, which would be a one to five. No, this right. is one point five now because you want one to five. No, because remember, b- bigger, balloon has gone. Yeah, but then you have to dilate more, I think, for that strength start. No. Yeah. No. No. One point. It's okay. You mean from the left main? No. There's no. That is a two-o balloon. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So 1.5. So we are going with the 1.5 versus uh, yeah, small, no dissection. A uh, little bit dissection even is allowed. No, my co- my question was uh, not for that. Means will it go through the stent strut? That was my only thing. No, but uh, which is yes. where the stent is in the LED? No, not to the left main. No, no, there was no stent in the left not main. The left yeah, it's main. only the LED. Yeah, calcium. no, it's distal. After the septal, no, yeah, 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 not left main. Okay, then we are okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That was so long time ago. We'll do the rot of the circ, then we will ivas the left main yeah. to LED. Yeah, LED, <laughs> and then see that uh, your calcific nodule of the distal left main. Yep. The nodule team is ready. <laughs> Kiski. Okay. and we are ready with a run through wire short run through wire yeah we have yep. bring the clip okay now we don't need this one bye bye Got it. Okay. Clip it on. One second. Check the speed. Okay. Good. Good. One fifty-five. We're going up with the rota. And rota curled up is tip is okay. And this is a two things. One five bar. Yeah. So I think one point two five would have been a little too small. Uh, originally, if you could not have got our devices, then fine. But one point five is a little tricky here. Because the angulation, but I think it's the right approach, and I'm pulling the wire back a little bit. Good. So now same or multiple Let's steps. Dynaglide tap. Good. Okay. Let's just start. Okay. 
It's tolerating it well. Yes. Yeah. The pressure is slightly down, so they're giving a neo, keeping a systolic of uh, 100. You two of Neo, so it should be more than 100. Yeah. We always teach systolic pressure has to be in the double digits. Yeah. Now 100. Yep. Yeah. Good. Any blood from my Just the last. Yeah. And we also learn that uh, the theory of incomplete ablation, rather than pushing it, causing perforation or bad dissection, mm -hmm. try one more. We have done the major part, 80%, 90% of the work has been done. Last 10, uh, can the subsequent balloon dilatation may take care. And other people, you can go to high speed if you need to be. Yeah, Not but we don't. We don't do. that, you need to go one to five. Yeah. Look, let's come out. Ready? Okay, coming out. Now there are two approaches. Either downgrade the bar to 1.25 or put a wire side by side. Do your balloon. If you can open the legion, you are done. Otherwise, you go to downgrade 1.25. So, know what you want to do. Let's take a picture first. Picture will tell us one second. Let's pull the wire a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. I think balloon. Okay. Yep. Oh. Let's get the wire and I leave mean, it the there. The way it looks, it's. Um... Surprise, even one five did not make it. Though I said one to five to begin with. Right. Right. So there is there is a, a question here. What why hmm. do you have there at the moment? It's a rota floppy. This is a rota floppy. So the the question which has been asked is don't you think that a rota extra support would have been a better choice? Right. So very good point. So problem with the rota extra support is in the angulated lesions, they are going to cause tremendous wire bias. Yes, yes it will give a little more support, but tremendous wire bias. So, so yeah, other choice could be now, knowing that the proximal part we are done, the for to get the distal, that we can use the rota, uh, rota extra support. If you were going rota back drive. with the one yeah. to five, no, but one one point five. But if you one point two five, I think we'll go on this wire. On this wire, uh, okay. yeah. But uh, if you go to 1.2, you know, 1.25, then it's okay. But 1.5, going with the rotor extra support wire is good. So initial choice of the rotor extra support clearly was not because of angulated lesion. So angulated lesion, we always say, don't use the extra support because it will cause the tremendous wire bias. Okay. Hmm. Good. Got the balloon. And leave the rotor wire. See what we are doing? We are leaving What's the rotor wire side by side. It's a 3 of 3 of 15. Yeah. Ro and if it does not open or does not cross, we are ready, ready with the 1.25 bar attachment. So I think I'll go with the 1.25 bar rather than the rotor extra support. What do you think? Yes, yes. Extra I mean, support drive. If you drive. need 1 to 5 bar, you don't need to change to extra yeah. support now. Yeah. But all are very important points. Very good input. Yes. Okay. I think this will make it. Let's see. Wow. Hmm. Wow. And this One question was posed by Mohsin Sai. Good. That's okay. 1.25 bar. So see, it does not cross. We are going to downgrade to 1.25. Good. Out, out. Actually, here. Don't even try. No, no. Don't dilate it. No. Okay. Change to 1.25. Yeah. They take both wire and this so, out. Uh, one fiber went there. But not full. 
Yeah, what I meant at that point. No, but uh, yeah, I know. But our goal is that we have to cross the final frontier. Okay, change it. So now I'm going to remove the run through. And rotor wire is already there. So if you think, uh, Samir, this case, IVL is not even going to make a turn there. Mm -hmm. Yet. Mm -hmm. So the limitations mm -hmm. of IVL. Look, this is run through. Uh, I'll need it. The not case yet, not became, yet. Good. case became totally different. Good. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, but the step bar of the rota is expected. We knew about it that we'll have only thing added was that to CTO. Or I mean, I don't know whether you call it a CTO by definition because it was six weeks, less than six weeks. I'm not saying that. Yeah. So it just a subtotal became total. But uh, the calcific and the requiring upgrade of the bar or step bar approach and IVL was expected in this complex case. So it's a rotor wire drive floppy. And if need to be, we go to extra support. And what we suggested, we thought that because of angulation, original plan was 1.25, let's go back to 1.25. So that's where we are going now. But going to the extra support, wire, extra support uh, drive, rotor wire drive is not a, uh, is a good choice also. But I would say not initially. Because initially that angulation will create a tremendous uh, wire bias. Okay, ready? We are checking the speed again. It's all, guys. Yeah. Done. Good. Good. Done. Will has already mentioned the laser is uh, standby outside. The laser. We don't need the laser. <laughs> I'm pulling the wire a little bit. Good. Okay. Okay. Same thing again. It will be fascinating to see how this responds. Okay. Always when you change the bar, that becomes noisy. I want to put something to Good. remove the noise. Okay. This is the angulation creating a trouble. Almost. You made it work. Almost. You made it work. The wire. That's okay before. The two things you do now. You want to increase the speed. No, what are you at? Yeah, what more? No, but 170. Yeah, that last one millimeter. I don't like the, your movement of the wires. Wire is okay. You want to send more wire? No, no, Good. no. Good. Yeah. Went to the same position now. Almost, almost there. Mm. Good. Question is, do you want to do one at 170? Okay. Okay. This time you go to 170. Yep, yeah, good. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Excellent. Chine, chine. Look, I so hope just, the view, viewers have been watching this stepwise yeah. uh, burr for the rotational ablation. Just uh, yeah. exactly every part uh, demonstrated yeah. their uh, downsizing the burr. And then yeah. uh, as that wasn't working, uh, Dr. Sharma mentioned, look, let's try one last thing of going up to 170 and that did the trick. Yeah, 177. So key is that there is no question about, you talk to David Auth, when he originally came of the 180 and 160, 180,000 RPM for bar of less than 2, 
and uh, 160 for about 2.15 and above. So it clearly, I mean, 2.25 and above. So basically, it was uh, his experiment, of course, uh, in that bone experiment in his garage, that ablation efficiency is very good. Uh, in the best at 180 and 160, respectively. At slower speed, uh, ablation efficiency goes down, although you have a less, less platelet uh, aggregation. Uh, that's for sure. Looking very good. Yeah, let's go. So, so key is, so therefore, we actually in our North American consensus document, we all agreed that if you do five times at a slow speed or you have 150 speed and you do not cross, five times you are done, you can go to 170, 180. The, as far as the difference is, only one randomized trial, uh, 140 versus 180 from Japan on 100 patients showed no difference in CK release or slow flow. Uh, but the practice has been a slow speed because I think that caused less perforation. Secondly, little less slow flow, although not based on the randomized trial. But, uh, but 140 speed is not known. I mean, not uh, unusual because I did back in 1999 with Barry Kohler with one of the fellow, Marlin William. So we said, let's see the platelet aggregation at your speed, you know, the slow with the Dynaglide speed, which is about 80,000. Then we did 140 and 180. We found that 140, the platelet aggregation was much lower. And of course, 180 was much higher. And both were inhibited significantly by using uh, Epsiximab, RioPro. So that's the circulation paper uh, of the speed dependent uh, 2B and uh, 2B3 inhibition. Of, so I back then... 140 we have used uh, as an experimental in vivo, uh, I mean, uh, in vitro with back then. Good. So, Samir, this is an example that this case would be a failure without rotablator. Yeah, absolutely. No, no doubt on it. Uh, Anu, a question no. has come on that uh, no. in the case, did you consider using... Uh, some support. Good. I'm sure they are talking about either a balloon pump. Yeah, or yeah, a... yeah. I mean, ejection fraction is near it's normal, okay, yes. so that I think uh, so uh, not needed. And, and right is good. Your LED is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, left main is involved, but no, I think with a good EF and no open RCA. Uh, not up front, but yeah. Yeah, of course, if slow yeah, flow during the case, yeah. mm -hmm. something happens, then maybe a balloon pump. 3.5 IVL should be ready. We'll see the IVS. Uh, Get the IVS first. Good thought. And another question yeah. is, not are you going there? to be doing go. the distal lesion here? Yeah, yeah so that's what that we're doing. distal lesion, I want to go back and see. Was it there, not there? It could be just the spasm. wire that has created it. Yeah, yeah. and the so spasm. If that's the case, I'm not going to touch. Look, very yeah. observant yeah. of people. Uh, very good. Yes, yes. We like it. Let's give a little medicine so first. You don't take a picture yet. teaching point that when you see something like this, always go back to your original picture. Now, um, as far as I remember, when I reviewed the angiogram, the old angiogram, there's no disease in that. No, uh, but I will remember it did not fill completely. So it could be moderate, mild disease, no, which no, is better six now. Six weeks ago. That was yeah. a good no, I'm talking about that one. Yeah. Ready? Go. Yeah. So this disease wasn't there. Yeah. Oh. You want to show, see the old Anjo again? Go back to the... No, here. Here, there. Not it there. was there? No, 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 not, not here. Thank you. Go from the right, from the, yeah. from the right side, when you hmm. see it filling. Not that large. One second, yeah. I mean, we didn't take a good one here. Even if it was yeah. there or not there, I think this we have is to take a care of it large now. enough, yeah, large enough vessel there. Now, if you think take care, then we should have gone with the same balloon down, no? Uh, it's more of a three oh. Let's see two, it now. Two, two five balloon or okay. something. Okay, two five. Yeah. Okay. Two point five twenty or thirty? No, 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 no. Twenty. Twenty. Okay. Now you want Ivers where into the? No, sub? but uh, but let's take care of the distal lesion first. So first we have to decide about the distal lesion. No, there you are two wires. Yeah. And so let's take the rotor wire out. We don't need the rotor wire now. That's okay. If we are going to strengthen it, you may okay, need. Just help. one second. I know, but take the tension out of the wires. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Many times the vessel stretch of the multiple yeah. wires can give rise to disease. So okay. So it looks like there was a lesion all the way there, and uh, that. Uh, what is it? Yeah, let's put a stand there. 
I think it's a good idea to have a buddy wire there. Uh, you may need a little more support to get the stent there. I think we can just balloon it. Hmm. Yeah, I let's mean, see we are looking bug. at the angiogram of six weeks ago. There was no yeah. disease. Hmm? So we can just... Okay. I mean, even at max, maybe 30%. So maybe we just balloon it. Low pressure. And if you if you would have a drug coated balloon, then there is no question there. Yes. This is the kind of case. You do a little balloon and drug coated balloon. And we actually, exactly. you know, starting the drug coated balloon trial in the native vessel. Uh, I did the ISR with the solution uh, uh, D uh, uh, drug coated balloon and uh, starting the first case uh, did I before and I capped my numbers. I think 45 or so. And now. Uh, we are starting the native vessel. I'll do the first case in U.S. on Friday. Okay, Congratulations. So low, low Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're coming to the small vessel, the small to medium vessel size less than 2.75, uh, de novo. Uh, take now, a picture high now. Bus, right? Take a picture first. No, finish the eye to distal lesion, what we need to do. I think you'll be okay then, now. Yeah. Looks good. Which is the company doing the... Drug coated hmm. balloon. It's a mad alliance. You want to stand it? Yeah. No. Hmm? Solution, huh? No, that's fine. We'll leave it if you want to. Are we going to IVAS into the circ or circ, 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 circ. Okay, then let's IVAS there. Okay. That's Take fine. the rotor wire out. No, I want it there. We we'll need it to get the stand down. Okay. Okay, I was the circ to left main. I think to understand the distal left main, we have to I was into the lady. <laughs> right, Kiski? Yeah, yeah, sure. We can try. And then uh, in that case, I need a fielder, Frank. But the Boston Scientific, as you know, for ISR, uh, the trial have completed and they are going to the FDA. Uh, and they're presenting the final data this okay. week, uh, sorry, next week in TCT, and then going to the FDA, they probably will get approval uh, for DSISR. I mean, uh, the I mean, digital area. Record. Yeah. Okay, start with work. Yes. It's coming. Like eccentric fiber flux, mm -hmm. like three of us are here. A lot of he, plaque. Yeah, yeah, here's a diffuse fiber flux. We have to put a stand there. Yeah. yeah, here there. Uh, yeah, no, but we have to put a stand. I was in the start, like 270 to 360. If you use severe calcium here, eccentric. So we are talking about full metal jacket now. But right here, all calcium. That's okay. What is needed? Yeah, eccentric. I Floral. see the uh, ablated no, surface that, of the calcium. Hmm. Yeah, here's 360. You need to flush a little bit? No, 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 no. We're okay. good. Yeah, good image. Good image. Yeah. I think we have the rotor. Yeah, here I, I see the nodule, nodule yes. protruding inside. Yes. You're into the left main already or no? Now coming into the left main. Yeah, here's also yeah, nodule. Yeah. yeah. That's now a big, in the left main, yeah. Big so tight. Do we stent it? Okay, now come to the bifurcation. Left main. This is the yeah. distal left main. I think looks like distal left main is large. Don't need to do anything. Yeah, there's a lot of plug, but I can check the area. Yes. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, flush and uh, fix the yeah, that. Yeah, that was surprising by angiography. It looked... Uh, more severe on the left main, although it may be that in the left main, uh, the no, we'll apple into core the LED bite also. is into the, yeah, it sure. is more. LED. That's why I said we have to get into hmm? LED. Fielder yeah. for the well, so LED. The distal left main. Let's take the run through okay. wire out now. I mean, the, our rotor wire. In the car, in the car, yeah. Save money. Huh? Hmm. It'll be two stent, not single oh. stent. In the circ. How does it look by your left main analysis that there is LED disease? No, no, we're going to do into it. Uh, so far, uh, left main is 7.5. Yeah, 7.25, yeah. I think rotor wire should come out. Three wires are not good. No, I know. Then do you want to stand the circ first? Okay. Distal. Yep. Let's so get a Zion. 275. 32 or 28. No, you said Zion. 33. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. 33. R RCO was Zion's, right? Yep. 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 So yep. 33. 275, 33. Yep. 
but the uh, thing is uh, do we need to dilate again on the i was uh, yeah still a huge plug classified plug burden eccentric classified plug see there mm. we're going to strengthen it uh, kiski now yeah. okay chip i think we've done enough uh, ablation and yeah modification angiographically there doesn't look much calcium but uh, in the proximal part there is a calcium on the ivus yeah no no it is yeah no but further down where the tightest lesion is yeah. there yes but lesion is further down remember yeah. i didn't go all the way okay so what is it Now, if we do a two stent approach, it will be a little tricky. So this is the case. Maybe we can do a DK crush. People keep asking all the time if they do the LED. Where we have six French guide. We wanted seven. We changed. Maybe it didn't dilate all the way down. You have the balloon, two point five balloon ready. Maybe even a three or no. Not two point. Yeah, twenty is good. Yeah, that's good. No, it's in the small branch. You see that? Mm, good. Okay. Yeah, no. As you said, we didn't dilate that area, which looks more you, when calcium. When you said yeah. stent, I told yeah. you we never dilated it. Okay, let's take it out. No reason to push. Yeah, we are dilating the proximal part, which was very calcified. Just tells you that unless you modify the lesion. We have the three O, right? Get the three O. Yeah. It looked that way on the ivus, but it we did not take care, and we were stenting it. Okay. Go. Leave the double wire. This was a three of fifteen. Yes. Falta <laughs> normal. Other one. multi vessel pci and uh, good ss here mm. 16 go high i want to go up here yeah 12 18 good have the stent ready again go pair ss dilate here yeah 1820 yep 20 okay done again yes 20 you always try to see the deflated balloon difficult cases to see they are going good So this was a three O high pressure balloon, twenty atmospheres. Now we're going with the stent again. We're we'll going to need this again. I think that balloon is done. <laughs> Go up. Yep. So we are leaving the second wire as the body wire still. Yep. And after that, we'll take it out before we wire the LED for. Okay. Now you see. Now I'll take the rotor wire out. Okay. Some time. Good. Good. Okay. Good. 
16. Okay, down. Throw this away. And remove the rota also there. Okay, okay. Go up here now. Okay, now we are going to filter into the LED and we I was left me into LED. There's a CCU bed. Okay. Throw this away. Okay, let's put the. Okay. Then take a picture now. We'll do it later. I was. Good. All right, let's talk about the. Maybe somebody can give opinion. Will there be an osteal LED disease? And I take the word, my vote is no, N-O. What do you think, Samir? Not no, sure. Austria, we are talking uh, I, uh, I... austral or distal left main? No, distal left main we have. But distal left main going into the circ. No, but no even I then, it's 7.2. There, there yeah. will be disease, Borderline. may not be severe enough. Not severe enough to do something, but... I mean, just that calcification is, is yeah, pretty yeah. important. Calcification is definitely there, yeah, big time. Okay. All right. Here is to see, to believe it. So, Samin, after years and years of following uh, the live cases and watching you, I identified two new mm. metaphors, two new words you used today in describing mm. A physiological pinch and an apple core bite. I have not seen you and <laughs> very precise exactly yeah, yeah, how the lesions yeah. were. Yeah. It's like that and, in and an epicranial like, view. Unbelievable, right. yeah. I, I like the description and the consideration towards a physiological pinch yeah. because needlessly our uh, reflexes force us to treat something which is uh, just a pinch. That's all it is. Okay, okay, good. To, yep. want to yeah. thank uh, okay, all our viewers back. who have been so involved today. And it's uh, a flyer stand. It's open. Baden. Stand is good. Stand is good. Very excited. Good area. Coming Looks to block small. And uh, twenty yeah, what? Twelve years ago. Hmm. No, twelve. Nothing, nothing in the yeah. left main. So here is a distal left main. Yeah. Nothing. I think it's a distal left main going to the circ. So now we have to do the IVL of the distal left main going into the circ. That's the our plan was. Rota tripsy. Why? 3.5, huh? Still there is a calcium nodule at the distal left main from no. the circ. No? Let's take this out first. Yeah, proximal circ has a nodule. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Still Ready? distal left main has more than six yeah. area. Can there is a flag, but the area no, is okay. Is this, this is a the... distal left main. Distal left main going towards the LED. So distal left main is good, but we know... The, let me just uh, remind our audience, uh, the picture-wise, show the picture, please. And here is it. There's a big left main chunk. This is a distal left main. Before the circ. Very nice. This is the one we're using, that apple core bite. There's a big... Now, why did we not see it when on our... You want to review your circ again? Because remember, circ pullback. No, no, we said that, that uh, your apple core bite is closer to the LED. We should have seen in uh, when no, we are imaging no, the LED. No, I would have said this more is still toward the circuit. No. Your circuit is going up. No. Good. Yeah, look, it's next, true. Next. The distal left me has an elliptical shape. It means there is a lot of plug. Like so it's an elliptical plug. shape. Yeah. That's the region. But, area, but then, get us a CSA there. Yeah, this is the first proof on the circuit. The area is like a 7.2. Okay. Okay. So let's take the, you want to leave that uh, wire on one side. So clearly, uh, and we are just doing the distal left main going into the circ uh, no, no. with the 3.5. No, no. huh? go, go back to the, go back to the LED. Question is, do we get into the LED or no. do we get into circ, the circ? circ, 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 No, no. So now this is a left main bifurcation. No, no, that's uh, the austral LED. Yeah. Okay, come back. Come back. Yeah, so this is uh, like a distal left main. And? 
some acoustic shadow because of the calcium, but even that area is like okay. But it's uh, it, the left vein. Yeah, but it's also true. The proximal sac has a lesion, so there is not good landing zone. Then we can consider crossover. So uh, what we are going to do, yeah, there's just some discrepancy on angiographic versus IVAS, but we know there's such a big calcium. We are just, and we did a 1.25, oh, sorry, 1.5 bar there. Uh, on the distal left main, we are just going to do. Yeah. I think on this one, you have to get into the LED. Okay. Shock if, yeah, because the both. Let's do some. Shock. No, that's fine. Let's do one there, and then you can do it. Uh, one or two shocks, that also. As you know, now you can deliver 12 shock, shocks of the 10 seconds with a new device. This is three five four. Three five three five. Four zero. Go three point five. Go four zero. Yeah, but that's all right. Okay, go up here. Even this not going. Go a little more. No, I didn't want to go. Oh, I see. Okay, what? go four. I already done rotor there. Hold on, down. No, you mid. Don't stop in the middle. That's what I'm saying. That's okay. Well, let's do it okay. here first. Okay. Go up. Now after this, I won't make a turn. <laughs> so there has go. been uh, some uh, speculation also about using a go. Wolverine in the distal left main and the yep. osteal circ. It could be done Good too. Good thought. Good yep. thought. Yeah. Six and negative. Always go to atmosphere. After right? After you go. Yeah. Go to right? Go. Usual technique. Usual. Six. Don't six, do anything unusual. Six. Yeah. Six. six. Go to six now. Six. Yeah. So we are going to deliver. And after that, you go to eight. So you can go to baseline four to six and then two atmosphere higher before deflating. But native balloon, you don't do more than six. Good. Now you're six, then eight and negative. Yeah. You want to go a few millimeter in? I, I have been impressed how well the patient has been tolerating this. Yeah. And mainly because okay. of That's his fine. L, be LV, LV function being yeah. good and the Let's right do it again. being okay. Go. Go. Okay. Good. Six and negative. Good. Now, why the eye wheel is not making turn despite after balloon and our uh, angulation? Yes, yeah. that's the eye wheel. Okay. Okay, coming out. We go to that. No, area. you can change it right now. Put a rotor wire, uh, I mean that uh, wire no, into no, the... No, no, please. We haven't even stented the circ. Okay. Make sure you guys have a 3.5 cutting balloon because I think we still need to prepare the distal circ. But anyway, we are going with the no. IVL into the LED now. If we have done a SS IVL, it should not be going now with a cutting balloon. No, because I will did not cross. No, we don't need there. We did the rotor. This was just for the left main. Uh, okay, then this is the left main to ostium. Okay. Now we are going left main to LAD. Good. Good. Ready? Yeah, you'll do it. Yeah. Here, four or six. Six. Go. Floor. Six. Eight and down. Nine. You have to give some time. Don't go up and come down. Yeah. Go up again. Good. One more. What's this the diameter is, there? Distal? This is the uh, left main. IVL yeah, left being delivered to the, like into the LED. Yeah. Because remember that eccentric yeah, calcium. Yeah. 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 And the apple core bite. Yep. Okay. Eight and negative. Okay. You need more or we are done? Okay. Give one more. So okay. Makes sense. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. show me the distal of the osteal LED there. Yeah. I mean, distal left main into osteal LED. What's yeah. the diameter? 
So now this is the bifurcation. We see the circ. So yeah, come back, come back. it'll be back. So because of a lot of calcium, we cannot yeah, right see the there, e right EEL. So long I still axis. think that area which uh, we have very difficulty in terms of using 1.25 bar, we should do one uh, IVL there also. I think there we are done. Put that wire, your fielder wire into the circ and put one more. We have to cross that lesion. That was the toughest one because that required 1.25 bar. You want one more here? You can, but we did, I was, uh, proximal circ was okay. We no, but that was the, I know, but that lesion was the one give gave us biggest trouble. Yeah. The one so the not, the, so yeah. this is a fox sir. You see the ablated yeah. calcium, right. but still a huge burden of the calcium is true. And a nodule also. So put that wire, what we'll do is we'll use the same fielder wire into so the sir and go with the IVL on that now. Yeah, but 3.5 <laughs> is too big. The 3.5 is okay. It's a big vessel there. Maybe hard to make yeah. that uh, curve yeah. with the IVL mm. balloon, but we'll see. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, this is the one going to give us trouble. Let's do it one now. Mm. Okay. Now, only question is, do you want to leave a wire, side wire? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't go up. Okay. Nothing will happen. Okay. Four. Yeah, hold it. I think this is a very good idea because this yeah. is where, uh, let's see. It still it has not opened. The legion still expand, had not fully yeah, opened yet. Yeah. It expands more there. Now it is showing a little bit. Okay. Six and negative. Still in the medial yeah. portion of yeah. it. Right. Wait one second. Let's do one more here before you go. Making that turn. Okay. Let go, go one more. Four. Slightly better. Yeah. Good. Six and negative. Negative. Now, let's pull it back and then go back with the speed. I think we have to just change the direction. Pull back first. Yeah. Let's see now. <laughs> <laughs> the bulldozer. Going to give a trouble. The, the stance. No, the stent will go. Already delivered this totally. Now, do you need to go to cutting balloon in that area? Because that area looks like had not been, there was a big chunk of calcium, still calcific nodule. Uh, do you want to go with the uh, score flax or Wolverine? If you want to do something, you have to go with a smaller IVL. <laughs> not, none of those will I think work. you need two of them. Okay. Good. You're okay. saying what? Go then score take, flex? Yeah. Hmm. I would say three or score flex. Good. Get a three or score flex. And you can put this wire back into your others. So see, this is tells you the multiple, multiple. Even we did a two bar there. 1.25, 1.5. That is still a but big yes, limitation one, of one the IV. 1.5 did not go there. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. 1.5 yeah. gone. Yeah. Maybe would not have struggled now. We were short of one five that area. Yeah. Now you want me to take this out? Yeah, put it back in the LED. Give us a score flex. You don't need another wire in the LED, no? No, leave the wire in the LED when you're doing a stent. Yeah. What's the diameter of the left main, Kiski? Uh, Lumens follow. Huh? Huh? Lumens follow. Foro. But okay, a concentric so calcium. Foro? There's no heresy landing zone. What's the size you want to the left means? Yeah. Good. We had done the 3.5 in there, so that's okay. I don't think you need to go any further. We just putting a stent from but left main to the circ. You need a 3.5, uh, 33. But we have to go to the circ also. Let's see, we open this legion of the proximal circ and then we'll decide what length. And you have to come to the mid left main. 38, no. Or 38. Bring both of them. 33 or 38. And proximally, then we do a pot with a 4 0. You are already 930. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Bad. Good. No, too far. Hmm. Okay.
Okay, go. Good. Right? Yeah. Go. I don't know what you're talking about. Let some fellow talk come in and hour. talk. Done. Yeah. 16. Right. That's my case or your case? Whose case is yes, that? Yes, I know that. Okay. So this is a score flex which has a balloon on the side, a wire on the side. Good. No, proximally. Here, see. Okay, you want further? Trouble. Yeah. Go. Okay. We are going up here. 3 oh. Yeah, here. Yeah. This is the one. I mean, Take a cine. So how it looks like, yeah, balloon rupture. Describe no. this. Uh, yeah. There are a few people wanting to know more about. So so it is the, what happened is it has a intrinsic wire at the outer surface of the balloon, as you can see oh, there. This 3-5? And this is the one on the side, yeah, 3 -oh. It's no. a 3-0. -oh. Let's come a little proximal and we'll show it to the uh, people. It's a 3 -oh. No, no, they, you could see here. Yeah. See there? The wire, the balloon, the wire. So it's a basically, side. you think about it's a, a the cutting balloon with a one blade. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, see now here. This is very good. Show it. So see the wire runs side by side. It uses your wire uh, as a second cutting balloon. So one wire is the cutting balloon uh, of a, one wire of the device and second wire is outside. So it's okay. using a two blade cutting balloon, so. not three blades. So cheaper version. <laughs> yeah, so actually here, Sine again, Sine, dry Sine, so people know. See that? The balloon on the side, yeah, good. Pull back now, done? No, no, clearly I can see the innovation, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the way yeah. to get good. around a patent and all that, but yeah. how does it really yeah. benefit? Uh, no, it's just uh, a two blades. I mean, right. two, two, yeah. Yeah, now it's good. Okay, the result Yeah, it's basically, good. the key is another, uh, you know, like uh, the, the chocolate balloon, uh, angio sculpt, angio sculpt it, uh, the spiral uh, around the balloon, and now the cutting balloon is the single blade. So they did one wire of them uh, of the device, which is on outside, and second wire. It's a very short monorail, and wire comes out here. So it's outside. Can we see this uh, where it should be? Yeah. So it uh, comes out from here. So this one wire is of the device right there, and second wire outside. So two wires basically uh, using it. So height is the same. Uh, like 0 0.064 inch, uh, like a cutting balloon. Okay, ready? Four, uh, 38. Mm. 3.5, 38. Good. Ready? Let's the, do the this way, and then, yeah. The way the left circumflex has grown, really. It, yeah. Uh, Mega. Mega. So all, <laughs> the hard, all the hard work uh, which has gone into it, I think, is uh, worth it. Yeah, yeah, many times one of our fellows says that now we had we had transplanted the circumflex. Transplant. <laughs> the circ has the been transplanted. Modification we have done in yeah. this vessel. Like born, newborn. No? Yeah. Newborn circumflex. Good. Or transplanted circumflex. So good. Can't be more that's than good. that, right? Yeah, that's no, it. There's a gap. Yeah. We get up 408 high pressure also. Let's see it. Ready? You want to do a zoom? Uh, sorry, uh, boost. Yeah, good. Nice. Just yeah. reach us there. Okay. So I'll take this wire out. You want? Yeah, Leave the wire. There's a... Okay. Is that? Okay, fine. Take it out. Yes. Why would it be placed this there? Okay. Leave it. You want to leave? Good. Now, we are leaving the wire in the LED because there was no balloon, no stent at the ostium. If it is there, then we don't leave it. 16 atmosphere. Okay, down. And we do the, what we can do? Now, we, after this picture, you can complete the work, and do the IVAS and so and I'll go with my discussion. One second more. And then you have to go a little further. 408 ready? Yes. Yep. Go. Go inside. I'm going to go as a space. Okay. Let's take a picture. Okay. Ready? Wow. Nice. Good. 
So just complete the job. Okay, let's go to our slide presentation. Uh, meanwhile, while completing the job, no, but you want to show it, emphasize anything? And know what you are going to do now? Nothing. I Tell what you are going to do now. No, I'm going to do the part of the left main. Okay, show, show the last angiogram before we go on. Yeah. Last angiogram, play. Go, go, and go. And then I was. Yeah. And then we'll be ready by that time. But look at this, how things are going Absolutely good. Absolutely outstanding. Yeah. outstanding. Good. Outstanding. Okay, really. let's go to our presentation now. And we'll try to be a little fast uh, uh, to, because all those things are available on the slides. And I can tell you, I just came back from uh, anywhere we go. It's just so much uh, plus they all talk about. So what they are going to do is few newer, uh, few new antiplatelet therapy trials from European Society of Cardiology and some publication, uh, Optica, StopDap3, Mac Pilot, Optic Brisk trial, host exam. And then focus review of the month is impact of experience and IVAS use in complex PCI outcomes. Uh, and uh, this is uh, uh, from, uh, uh, from Korea. So this one is, the, now we are going through, can we just do single antiplatelet therapy right from day one? Remember, we have the trial data that we can stop the depth after one month to three months, many trials, and I'll show you that. But now say, can you do it right from the single antiplatelet therapy from time zero? And this is the why optical uh, OCT guidance. Uh, this is a study from Netherlands in non-ST segment elevation MI. About 75 patients that those who had OCT and had a good result. And the question is, they tested the PRU and they counted 208 as their cutoff. And anything less than 208 is your low platelet reactivity. Above is high platelet reactivity. 90% were ticagrelor. 10% were pressagul in the 75 patients. And whole idea was that what happens to these patients if you just do no aspirin, only give ticagrelor or pressagul in these patients. And see, this is where it was, uh, 75 uh, uh, patients and uh, overall event rate was very low. Three patients have am I? And uh, the, the bleeding occurred in about 9.3%. Major bleeding was in two patients. So, and repeat revascularization was in four, 5.3% and no stent thrombosis. So, there is a concept. Can you eliminate aspirin? The idea is aspirin, even within one month, create trouble. And this is where are three trials I'm going to show you today. So, basically, this is the first one to say, first in human evidence of P2Y12 inhibitor monotherapy directly following PCI for non-STEMI non is feasible without any over safety concern and highlights the need for randomized control study. Of, and that was the randomized control study right here. Stop DAP3. And what is a stop DAP3? Basically, we knew patients who are bleeding, acute coronary syndrome or high bleeding risk patients, they one, have a high event rate. And secondly, that if you are non-ACS and no high bleeding risk, your event rate is low, particularly bleeding point of view. So bleeding is lower in a non-bleeding patient and so, so this has been shown. And now we have many trials and these are the trials I put it. Global leaders, one month DAP. A smart choice, three month DAP. Stop DAP2, which is the, from these <laughs> investigator earlier, Stop DAP2 and ACS, one to two month DAP. Twilight, three month DAP. Tyco, three month DAP. All showed that P2 white troll inhibitor monotherapy is preferred. So that we understood. But then we know the event occurs within one month of these patients. So what about uh, you take away aspirin even at the time zero. So this one month bleeding does not take place. So that was the study hypothesis. And you see here, very nicely done. Presagrul 3 point, no aspirin group. They All patients received the loading dose of Presagrul 20 and aspirin uh, 200 milligram or 162 milligram. They got it. And then after that, uh, the basically the patient in the no aspirin group gave 3.75 milligram Presagrul per day and followed by clopidogrel for up to one year. And then uh, patients with a DAPT group have got aspirin and Presagrul. And after one month, they stopped the Presagrul only aspirin. So what did they find? Very interesting. So this is a large number of patients. Look at the 6,000 patients, uh, the trial uh, done from uh, Japan and basically showed and uh, the, uh, the data basically majority done were radial approach, the 93% imaging. So anytime we try to duplicate the data, you have to think about that these are all done with the imaging. I mean, almost everybody was done with the imaging and we're showing the pressure group monotherapy and DAPT group, they maintain uh, the, their random assignment and overall outcome was no aspirin, adapt. 
DAPT at 3.69 versus 4.12 p-value was not there and it was non-inferior. So non-inferior, but there is a little trouble. Trouble is acute and subacute thrombosis or stent thrombosis. You can see here, you start seeing little trend. 1.26 to 9.23. So hazard ratio of the subacute thrombosis was no aspirin was 0.58. That was 0.17. So 25%, uh, uh, I mean 75% higher. So clearly was that this is a trouble. Three times higher stent thrombosis rate uh, subacute in the no aspirin group. And uh, if you take individual endpoints are here, and the whole concept was maybe will it cause lower bleeding? And answer to that question is no, 8.1 versus 9.0. And therefore, it seems to be that any unplanned revascularization was significantly lower in the DAPT group compared to aspirin group. So basically, uh, if you take individual, whether acute syndrome and non-acute syndrome, so basically it turns out to be simply what we learned. The aspirin-free strategy is good after one month, but not within one month. So aspirin-free strategy using low-dose Prasagol compared with the DAPT strategy failed to attest superiority for major bleeding within one month after PCI and was associated with a signal suggesting an excessive coronary event, hence is not recommended. So aspirin is here to stay. You say, well, maybe something else. Well, something else is what about we change aspirin to colchicine? And these are the people from South Korea did the MACT pilot study, mono antiplatelet therapy. So what they did basically is the patient loaded with aspirin, ticagrelor 180 or prasagrel at the load. But then second day, no aspirin. They said, let's change aspirin to colchicine. Maybe that will cause less bleeding. And ticagrelor 90 BID or prasagrel 10 milligram daily and follow these patients. It's a, it's a direct study. Uh, kind of a concept, not a randomization, and basically uh, showed that uh, that you can have multi many of them were multivessel disease and complex PCI was done, but a small number, uh, and so uh, the outcome basically uh, you know it was half and half, half got ticagrelor, half got pr uh, prasagrel, and overall event rate was very very acceptable. That having a 1.5 percent of the primary or secondary event rate, and they also found. The platelet reactivity, as you can see, that all of them have a low platelet reactivity, which is very good. Uh, that's what we want to have, less than 2.208. So also the HRCP and other inflammation criteria. So it seems to be that taking colchicine instead of aspirin may be a substitute and may have a lower bleeding. And this is where the concept, this was just a, so, uh, uh, this was just not a randomized. A so this has to go on to the randomized trial by the MACT pilot study. Uh, therefore, it could be a alternate approach. The third one was the opt by risk trial. The patient's clopidogrel monotherapy versus DAPT in high risk patients. So, what basically high risk are either high bleeding risk or high ischemic risk. Patient with acute coronary syndrome was completed nine to twelve months of DAPT. Now, question comes: What you do? Do you continue da aspirin plus either clopidogrel or ticagrelor or single agent? Right, and these right. are the high ischemic that's and high uh, risk patient. Again, large number of patients uh, received 3873 assigned to receive clopidogrel plus placebo, the single drug, versus clopidogrel plus aspirin. And this again, 4,000 patients. You look at the Chinese center and basically showed that ischemic and bleeding risk criteria are shown here. And overall outcome point of view that you, using the Clopidogrel alone, bleeding decreased from 3.3 to 2.5 and MACE 3.5 to 2.6, both significant in favor of single antiplatelet therapy of clopidogrel rather than having a dual. Uh, this is kind of a charisma coming back. So as you can see, lower bleeding with a single agent and uh, other points were not different individually, but overall MACE was lower. Uh, and uh, the, it seems to be the clopidogrel was even much better beneficial patient with anemia. So key is the patient's acute coronary syndrome with high risk for both ischemic and bleeding complication who completed 9 to 12 months of DAPT. After DES, extended clopidogrel monotherapy is better than DAPT for clinical event and bleeding. So third, then you remember this is the trial which we presented before called host exam. Host exam was the trial that after 12 months of uh, randomization, I mean 12 months of DAPT after DES, patients were given either aspirin monotherapy or clopidogrel monotherapy. And now they have follow-up data up to five plus eight years and more importantly showed in acute coronary syndrome, superiority of clopidogrel. So clopidogrel is coming back as a better agent like Capri trial. 
You remember capital trial was uh, back then, uh, 20, 30 years ago with the showing benefit of clopidogrel alone versus aspirin. Get and this was the host exam. And uh, it was all primary endpoint as well as not only at two years, even after two years, benefit continues of the single antiplatelet therapy with a lower thrombotic event and of course, lower bleeding. So it seems to be clopidogrel caused lower bleeding then aspirin and lower thrombotic endpoints. And now they presented the data of the acute coronary syndrome from the host exam study and basically showed same message. ACS, 4,000 patients, 1,500 were non-ACS. And you can see there that composite thrombotic endpoints are much superior in a patient with ACS and bleeding endpoint was more so for the stable syndrome. So that basically the message we got uh, in this. So now clearly that seems to be that one should try single antiplatelet therapy data are supporting clopidogrel use for a long term rather than uh, using the aspirin or combination. So now, which we know very well, experience and IVAS matters for uh, interventional cardiology. This is a prospective registry uh, from South Korea uh, of uh, Samsung Medical Center, which over the 10 year time period, there are 6,000 patients. They define complex as typical CTO, bifurcation, left main, multiple stents, multivessel PCI, re stenosis, and so. And then they divided the experience operator Use IVAS guidance or angiography guidance with your experience operator less than five years or more than five years. As you can see, less than five years were 2,200. And IVAS guidance, you clearly see that the people who are less experienced operator use IVAS little less, uh, you know, like uh, maybe uh, one third. And of course, half of them, experienced operator who are more than five years, use IVAS in about half the patients. But with that note, the basically showed the less experienced operator had the worse outcome than experienced experience operator, which we understand. But look at the continuous value on the right side. So after five years, you see every year increase in the experience. Your complication goes down. So great news. The cardiac or target vessel MI and the death clearly is low, lower in patients when you get more experience. So basically speaks for experience. But we wanted to put an interplay of the experience with the IVAS guidance. And of course, they let me just show back that operators who are experienced, they use more complex lesions, high syntax score, more left main, multiple lesions, left main and so. And yet... Overall, as you can see, the two factors, PCI by experience operator or use of IVAS. So both of them are associated with lower uh, cardiac death or targeted vessel MI. You can see here other factors are there, but these are the two most important ones. Uh, and uh, if you take experience versus non-experience, which is on the top, and the, just go to the uh, match analysis on the right side, every aspect, death, MI, target vessel, thrombosis, ischemia-driven, all those things are lower, except the ischemia-driven TLR was not different, but all in the experience operator. Uh, in the less experienced operator. In experienced operator, basically, the difference came on the cardiac death, not even in the myocardial infarction or any or stent thrombosis. So basically, it tells you some mixed feeling that experienced operator still do better with the imaging, but less experienced operator, operator do tremendously better with imaging. And this where it comes down to here. Look at this one. Less experience means less than five years. The 50% lower event rate uh, with the IVAS compared to angiography. But if you are experienced operator, you're about 30% lower event rate with the um, IVAS. So IVAS was good for both. And uh, these are the, even after uh, one year, data shown here. So key on the left side, less experience, right side experience, really in the experience, major difference was in the left main. So left main case, whether you are experienced or not, you should do imaging. Others, I would say the less experienced operator should be using imaging more for your outcome. So this basically puts it together. Uh, overall, the central figure, very nice illustration. That the PCI by experienced operator and the use of IVAS during complex PCI were independently associated with lower long-term risk of cardiac death or MI. Beneficial effect of IVAS were more prominent for less experienced operator. And therefore, what they put together is optimizing coronary interventional procedural outcome. That is, given the well-demonstrated IVAS cost-effectiveness, interventional operators should incorporate IVAS into large fraction of their PCI 
when technically possible, question is large fraction should be 30% or 60%, somewhere in between. The international training program have a responsibility to provide robust training in the IOS imaging or intravascular imaging. And currently, practicing interventional cardiologists who have limited IOS knowledge or experience should seek mentoring relationship with more experienced operator and strive to become proficient in intravascular imaging. And I would say, I probably will fall into the category three. Uh, the, this is actually has been really the ACC International Council, as you saw, we showed it earlier on the imaging at the operator level, institutional level, and national level is our responsibility to train our fellows. And uh, at present, it's a 75% IWAS, 25% OCT, and used in the pre-intervention, lesion preparation assessment. To me, assessment is the most important, 80-90% of the benefit. So let's complete together, uh, because I think Anu is ready there now. So what did the message? Clopidogrel versus aspirin monotherapy or DAP long-term post-PCI, host exams and other, everything clopidogrel is thumbs up. Second, P2Y monotherapy with colchicin with no aspirin, one thumbs up. Then no aspirin after PCI versus Presagul, Daprin, ACS, nope, two thumbs down. Acute coronary syndrome, you had to give aspirin at least for one month or give colchicin. Then recent analysis of underscore the utility of IWAS. Therefore, all interventional program should make a rigorous curriculum for education and the imaging to overall improve procedural long-term outcome. I can tell you in the first two months, we had at least four or five lectures to our interventional fellows who are nine in number uh, on the imaging because that's the future at present. So three questions. Following statement is false regarding the final results of stop DAP3 of ACS PCI with no aspirin versus DAP group, similar NACE, Similar death rate, no difference in urgent revascularization between two groups, similar stroke between two groups, and similar bleeding. Nope. Answer is C. It is there was a difference lower, there was higher bleeding, a higher rever urgent yeah. revascularization than no aspirin group. Good. Second, following statement is true regarding the long term use of clopidogrel post PCI versus DAP or aspirin monotherapy. Similar maze, lower mortality, lower stent thrombosis, lower ischemic driven TLR and similar bleeding between two groups. Clearly that you have a similar bleeding two groups, everything else is uh, false. Now, following statement is false regarding the results of the IWAS used in relation to experience of the PCI operator in complex PCI. IWAS helps to improve outcome of all the operator. That's, the, we are talking about false. So that's true. IWAS use does not improve outcome of left main PCI in experienced operator. IWAS use improves outcome in most lesion subset with less experienced operators. IWAS use reduces death rates in long-term follow-up. IWAS use continues to improve outcomes even after one year landmark. Clearly, we learned that IWAS is better even in patient with experienced operator for left main PCI. So with that note, I have a presentation complete. And now Anu can show the angiogram, please. And she can update us with the IWAS and uh, the final picture. Okay, so let's go. This is the final picture. You can see that. Yeah. Okay. Show the last. Yeah, step good. Step by step what we yeah. did. Also, I think you left us here. Yes. Right? After this. After this, what we did was we recrossed. So this is where always the question will come. Do you recross before pot or after pot? Um, in left main. It's okay that you do pot first followed by recross, but we did recross and this is the pot. Now what happened is the 4O, look at this, 4O820 atmosphere and I was in the LED wire. And if you see, it's in the lumen. You see that? It's yeah. in the lumen. It's in the LED wire in the lumen. And then, of course, we took a high pressure balloon 3520 atmosphere. We did the kiss and uh, we wanted to image both. Uh, angiographically, look at it. Very good. Perfect, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, Kiski, show us. First run. This is from the circ. The circ is okay. Stent is expanded. But when we come to the left main, you see this is the stent. The stent fracture. It's not, not fracture. opposed. I would say probably malopposed because the 4 -O, we were in the LAD direction, not in the circumflex. Mm. So the yeah. true ostium, distal left main to ostial circ is where we see the few struts that are not opposed. Yeah. Yep. Anu, just yeah. pause there for a moment. I think this is possibly the most important learning case of today. Exactly also following on what Dr. Sharma presented, this is exactly the value of IVAS for the left main. I mean, if you went by angiography, you would yeah. say everything is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's true. Important point is the wire is still inside a uh, stand. 
That's why you did a final uh, pod. Yes. Then this is the final pull work. Uh, left main stent is well opposed. This is our final, normal opposition, no dissection, and well expanded. No, but my question here is, I know you wired the circ LED, but why did you not do the pot going toward the circ first before working on the LED? Right? I mean, that's what you should have done. Yeah, but yeah. it is four row. Yeah. And then four row to uh, circ, I felt maybe, to me, your apple core still, the core to me was left main to LED. I really wanted to make sure that area is well expanded. That's why we did that. But then we went, took the 4 and then we went back uh, from uh, the left main to circ. Again, 18 atmosphere, not high. And not then 20, then made the... Then the final one we see. Good opposition, yeah. yeah. Full opposition, yeah. 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 Okay. So it was just one strut that was not opposed yeah. there. Uh, but uh, I think when we did 4 and then we did the kiss again. Yeah. So key is that if you would have gone with the circ left main, it may have been a post. May have Difficult been. to say you could have still had. You have to remember that uh, osteal LED, there are there's one or two millimeters, there's no stent coverage. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Yep. We're okay. not sure if we had gone yeah. 4 to means left main to circ, yeah. that we still would have seen a little uh, probably uh, under expanding into the LED side. Essentially, I think well, here what we are saying is. With the 4 we needed both uh, going into the circ as well as into the LED. Okay. Now that we did that and did the kiss again, so finally, finally came out perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. So I think this is this was a marathon session of uh, with total of 105 minutes. Uh, and, we started at 9, 8, 15. the final picture, right? And you show the final picture, yeah. So patient is on Plavix with a PRU of 146. So that could be left alone, although I would say that probably there is no reason not to give it a close, the, the prasagrul in this case. What That's you do good. is you give only 30 milligram load and followed by 10 milligram for one month. Apparently history of hemoptysis will say so. No, then leave it pro Yeah, any region for bleeding, then you don't go to the stronger PTY12. So continue clopidogrel then. Yeah. And particularly you have tested the PRU with less than 208. I know in the past you used you to call 230. Oh, no. Now it's a 208 is the new uh, plated reactivity on a, a PRU on the H matrix. Okay. Uh, Samin, uh, Anu, great case uh, also to our audience. Uh, excellent feedback. Uh, thank you for keeping it interactive. Uh, we complete the trial here. And before I go to Danny Trottier and his team from Broadmed AV, excellent uh, transmission of this case. We'll see you again, a reminder, on November 7th next month. Thank you. Good.